Hey, what's going on? Robert Welcome here from Coin.TV. Going to be doing an unboxing of the Voltus V. This is a brand new Soul of Chidokin figure from Bandai, the FA. This is the full action. It's a brand new series that they're putting out. I pre-ordered this and it just came in the mail from our friends over at Big Bad Toy Store. Not a sponsored video. I ordered this. It was $159.99 plus shipping handling and I pre-ordered it a sight unseen and this is the first time I'm checking things out and I hope that it is awesome because uh, it wasn't cheap but I do like me some giant robots and some of the Chokoden lines. Chokoden lines is kind of pretty much my favorite. They're kind of like die cast and plastic pieces put together and they're usually well done. First let me say that this box is huge. It's, it's long and slender and it has some nice, nice artwork. Here is the back. So basically, uh, the difference here with the full action is more posability, I guess, is the gist of things, but no like transformation or anything like that. So the figure is just pretty much going to be like one piece. Is not going to be taken into different parts and uh, posable, you know, posable or transformation or anything like that. It looks like he's just going to be pretty much like this and then the different action poses. So for those who like to sort of get in and transform and move pieces and parts around, you're not gonna have that, but we're gonna get some more posability and you know, the price point, while I think 150 is a little high, could be, could be better. Um, you know, it's definitely less than $300 or something, so. Okay, so we'll slide the top open here. Now, um, this is from some old classic 1970s anime in Japan. Forgive me if I pronounce anything incorrectly with the name of the figure, or I don't know what everything's called, because uh, this is stuff that I kind of watched when I was a kid. I haven't really watched a lot of it as an adult, but I do just, I just have an affinity for enjoying these giant robots and how they look. This is a pretty good size figure. So here he is, hopefully coming in okay. I'm trying to get the, the lighting from the sun on there. So we've got some, we're sealed into the plastic, kind of show you how the packaging is here. By the way, shout outs, no dings on the box at all. So uh, this is packaged very well from the Big Bad Toy Store. Um, most of the feedback I've seen from them and I've only bought a few figures from them over the years has been positive. Most people sort of recommend them. So I guess I recommend them also. I'm part of the, the recommendation squad. <laughs> okay, so let's pull them out here. Okay, so nice, nice weight. Wow, looks like a great paint job. I'm not seeing scratches or anything like that on him at all. Um, top taller than I thought, so so that's good. I like the, you know, some of the Mazinga and the sort of radian that I have are really small and they look kind of shrimpy on my toy shelf. So this is going to look nice because he's, he's pretty big inside. I don't, I don't have the, uh, the actual size measurement on me, but I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. Hopefully it's still listed on the site. So we got some uh, mobility in the head here. Looks like it can spin all the way around. It looks like it's mobile. Um, we get some action here. I'm not hearing ratchet on the hand, the the elbows. A little twisty twist on the fist there. So as I said before, this is supposed to be very poseable, joint heavy. So we got some waist action there. Twist the legs out. Some knees legs bend also the thighs we got uh, got a little uh, ball joint appears like on the foot there so that's got plenty of room to swivel around and it looks like the ankle or whatever this part would be has a little mobility too anything else I am missing here we got his little jet pack on the back and his uh, this treads back here. There's a little mobility there, but I don't think those go anywhere. Do these move at all? The little missiles, those seem to be, I don't really want to force and mess around anything. Those seem to be 
locked in place. Okay, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. Obviously, I wish this was like $99 for $159. It's a little pricey, but I kind of took a little bit of a gamble because this is the first time we're getting these uh, full action line. There's uh, a few of these that are coming out. I'm liking it so far. Let me let me put it down and see what we get. We get the uh, a little instruction book here, sort of showing how the how it goes on the stand. So you get a lot of stuff with it. You get the the, the big giant stand, which is even going to make it taller. Uh, some more rocket stuff. Let's see. Let's continue over here. These guys. Uh, I'm not sure what these guys are called. These are weapons or, or design, probably some weapons. I remember he had some sort of like, I vaguely remember that this came off and he could hold something in his hand or something. I'll, I'll have to look at sort of the pictures and mess around um, once I don't have the camera rolling. I don't do a lot of these um, Chokogin unbox unboxing videos. So if you're brand new and you just sort of found me and you're like, Who's this guy? What's he up to? Uh, I only have, I must have about 10 or 15 Chokogans, but I have only done a few unboxing videos, so. All right, let's check out the, uh, the sword is nice. So I'll put it behind that so we can see. So I do believe when you have the sword in his hand, this is like his, his chest piece. Um, you know, so again, I have to sort of Double check on some of that with the anime and stuff. Uh, let's see, I'll grab his little, um, this guy missile thing is on like a chain. It's like hold that in two hands or something. Let's see, maybe maybe that replaces his fists. Put that in there. So we get two of those. And this crazy, <laughs> I don't know if this is like a whip or what. Again, I don't know what all his weapons and abilities are called. Just kind of showing off what things will look like. This is probably going to be what's going to hold him in place on the base. I'm guessing. It feels to be locked in place. I don't want to smash that while I'm on camera. I'm assuming this goes into his... Holds into his back there. We'll get that. Try and get that assembled. I'll cut the camera and then I'll sort of assemble and put it on the base there while I'm paying attention a little more. So let's go in full action. Voltus V or Volts V or Voltus 5. <laughs> I've been saying Voltus V for a while, a long time in my head. If that's completely wrong, like let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Okay, before I move on, just want to give you a little secret here. I didn't realize this at first, but I've got the hands and fists tucked away inside here. So technically that's still part of the unboxing. I didn't realize that at first. So there you go. We got some different articulation on the hand. So let me swap some of those in and out. All right, quick look at the manual here. It says over here, warning may rub off. So maybe some of the paint on the side. Might want to be a little cautious with that if you get some oils or stickiness on your finger. So let's open this up and sort of see a little bit more. You can see the uh, joints. Looks like he's got a couple joints in his chest and waist. And it looks like the piece on his chest actually does come off. And it shows kind of the demonstration of that piece connecting to his sword. So if you want to be anime accurate, right? Um, you can pop that off when you get the sword in his hand. You know, I'll probably leave it on because I'll be afraid of like missing things. Looks like we got a few other things that sort of pop off there and a little bit of a demonstration there. I don't know how much of this I will show, but here is how you kind of connect the stand and put them up there. So, all right, so I got them up on the stand here so you can see what it looks like and uh, we'll spin it around and you can see the little arm that pops up and goes into the piece there. Now, I'm not really wild about how this is kind of set up here because uh, there's no like, doesn't appear to be snapped in and uh, one one bump and he might pop out. So I'll show you here and just kind of lifts and then he's got this little pin that goes into a hole 
in between his legs and his crotch area there. So it seems to sort of rest down on there. Kind of takes a little bit of effort to get that in there. And if this thing got knocked sideways or something, it would, <laughs> it would definitely flop out. Would have liked to maybe seen something around the waist, but I don't know if this is the standard. A lot of the trophies that I have are the regular ones and not the sole ofs. So I'm not sure if that's a standard thing or not, but let me, uh, let me get some accessories on there. All right, so I swapped in the uh, hand that can hold the sword and uh, one of the hands that shows the fingers kind of smashed out there. So you can see we get some pretty good, yeah, we could do some pretty good posing here with him. The legs stretched out and this, this is kind of the selling point for these uh, full action figures is really, really just kind of messing around, bend some knees. Uh, get kind of uh, different things like that going. Just gonna spin them around there, show you, show you kind of the back of things there. All right, here's another pose showing these uh, crazy spinner things coming out and flying out on. Uh, I don't know. Again, I don't know what this weapon is called, but uh, these things snap apart and then you snap them in there. And then I put the little fists in there holding, holding in there so you can kind of like, you know, mess around, have them spread out a bit. Whoop, popped off that wrist. There you go. If you really want to go wide, wide angle, take out two, two baddies at once. Okay, so there is a bunch of other hands and accessories, sort of a gun blaster and uh, these guys here, I didn't hook up, but I think after sort of unboxing him and messing with him a little bit, I think I'm gonna go with this kind of iconic two-handed sword about to slash down on some uh, bad guys there. So, um, you know, just to kind of give you a little idea, what I usually do with these is I usually find like a pose that I like and it kind of suits the action, maybe kind of a still frame from the anime or something like that, or my imagination. And just kind of put them up on the toy shelf like that for a few years. Then when I get bored, I might change out an accessory or two if I want. But just want to kind of make this video show you a little bit of the posability and everything like that. So hope you enjoyed. If you guys are brand new, please uh, you know, check out some more of my videos. Hit that like button for CoinOp TV. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.